and welcome to the semi-final of Away With Dogs. We have our six semi-finalists from what was an incredible first day's trialling, but today promises to be even better with a tricky double gather hillside course. Let's go and meet them. Well, congratulations to you all on making it into the semi-final. It is time for the draw. Angie, you're up first. Number two. Second, okay. You can say it. One. Oh, first, okay. How do you feel about that? Oh, really excited. <laughs> <laughs> Good, well, it is a tricky course today. Um, you've seen a, a run first. Will that have helped at all? Probably not. No. Okay. Um, no, it's a really tricky course and uh, We'll just give it a go. Yeah, all well, best of luck. Thank so, you. first place is out of the way. Let's carry on. Third, mm. yeah. Four. Four. Six. Ah, oh, last again. <laughs> Five. Five. And Sergio, you were last uh, in the qualifiers yeah. and now you're last in the semis. Well, um, I hope it goes more. Like, if it goes a bit like yesterday, I'll be happy. If not, we'll <laughs> say you never know. You never know if you if, if it's better being first or last. We'll just have try to have a good run and see what yeah. happens at the end. Perfect. So. Well, we've got some sunshine. It's looking amazing. So best of luck to you all, and uh, let's get the trial underway. Thank you. Thank you. So we now have the running order of our semi-finalists and in this programme we'll feature the first three in order of the draw. And as we've seen, that's Kevin Evans, Angie Driscoll and Neil Gillen. Kevin Evans broke onto the trialling scene when he won the International Young Handlers competition at just 13 years of age. Since then, that winning streak has continued with Kevin, arguably now one of the most prolific handlers with an impressive record, all before the age of 40. No doubt Kevin will be trying his best with Priscelli Key to gain yet another title, the Away With Dogs Series 2 Championship. But he knows he's up against some of the toughest competitors on one of the trickiest double gather courses. Good luck Kevin. Since moving to the UK in 2007 to work and trial sheepdogs, Angie Driscoll's rise to success has been quite amazing. She'd be the first to admit to being rather a perfectionist and always extremely self-critical, but I'm sure she must have been pleased with her run with Mazzy in the qualifying round, finishing top of the leaderboard, having dropped just 12 points. Let's hope she and Mazzy can put up a repeat performance today. Neil Gillen is a contract farmer from South Ayrshire in Scotland, who only returned to trialling in the last eight years. During that time, he's achieved great success, including winning the Scottish National Championship with his dog, Sweep. Neil has over 30 years of experience of working with large bunches of sheep, but admits to not liking tricky small courses, so it'll be very interesting to see how he and Sweep get on here today. So Mike, we're here at the semi-finals and we have a different course today. Can you tell me a bit about it? Yes, certainly. Um, it's a first-hand outrun, as we see behind us, up around the corner there. The sheep are brought down through the fetch gates, into the field, bring your four sheep up here. As soon as your dog's through, we throw him back and he must go on the left-hand side. The dog will gather to the left, bring through the fetch gates, down through here, join the sheep together, then take all eight sheep around the course, left-hand drive, tight turn as possible, through the cross drive, back down the field, into the shedding ring, all marked out. We then split four from four, mm -hmm. drive four away, pen the four, simple. <laughs> it sounds like anything but simple. It, it must be much more challenging. Oh, it's, it's like doing a Grand Prix. You know, how many stops do you make to say that you can win that championship? These dogs are absolutely fabulous. The handlers are going to find these sheep tricky. They're going to be the deciding factor but good luck to all the competitors. Right, well, let's hope the wind and the rain keeps off for them and we'll see how they get on. Okay. That'll do. Stand. Stand. First to run on the semi-final is Kevin Evans with Key. 
got to go to the right. There will be a redirectional whistle here on this corner because they cannot see the sheep. She's taken it well. Just one off for the whistle. Phil shutting the gate in the bottom there. That'll happen for every run. And the sheep need to be brought at 45 degrees across the field to the fetch gates. Slightly obscured from us from the camera angle, but the handlers and the judges are at a lower angle so they can see what is going on. They'll come back into view. Sheep approaching the gates. very responsive Done. now the sheep will be brought down into the corner Done. here Done. gates Done. Uh, angled 45 Done. degrees so the sheep turn uphill Done. towards the handler stand we stand just looking at the dog it'll all look two-dimensional to the sheep they see in black and white, not in colour like we do. Then one will turn and see the gap. One's looking. Just seeing key there. Could be trouble Kevin working really well with the flank whistles. Done. One's seen it now. Done. Lie the dog down, let the others follow. Little right Done. hand flank, so Done. the sheep turn up here. Now they turn Done. back. Look back! Turn back to the left, kept on the right side, only four points taken there. Key going slightly wide. Here she comes. Might be the odd point going off there. Got to land at the point of balance at the top of the hill. Here she comes. A bit far over. Yep, three each off the, the outrun there. Lift was a bit jumpy, but the judges liked it. Now I've got to come in a straight line through the fetch gates with the four sheep. Very controlled. Little flank whistles there. Don't doesn't want to upset the sheep. Keep them at a nice trotting pace. And they'll be brought down the hill through the gate and joined with the four others from the first outrun. Nice pace. Done. He's going to join the sheep together and turn them round himself to start the drive. Stand. And there they are. That is some fetch. Stand. Now all eight we, sheep we to come around the back of Kevin. Stand. Stand. Tight as stand. possible. We we stand. Cut. Stand. Cut. Stand. You you. Stand. Cut. Stand. You. Cut. Stand. She's in control. Stand. Cut. Stand. No, it doesn't stand. want to upset them going down the stand. hill. The sheep will pick up speed going downhill. Stand. 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 Kevin's a master stand. at this. Stand. Lovely pacing. We, we stand. You, you. Stand. Uh, stand. Keep pushing these sheep down through stand. the gate. Uh, Got to be careful here. Stand. The sheep will always run uphill onto dry ground. We don't want stand. them to pop uh, through that stand. gate to the right. A little stand. right hand flank. He has Steady. to be ready Done. for her when the sheep pop up. There they go. It's just how sheep are. And she'll now have to balance on that higher side to get the line. Done. Tremendous partnership here. Twice supreme champions. She seems a long way off, but that's where she has to be to put the pressure on on that high side to balance these sheep back down to the first drive gate. 
want to put a little bit more pressure on now so they keep bunched, keep trotting. That lead sheep's looking to miss the obstacle so he tucks her back in. That's how these two work so well. She's going to go again so a little flank pushes that front lead sheep back downhill and then puts the pressure on but he's going to be on the wrong side for a tight turn and that's the gamble you play. Here she goes and that lead sheep's just taking away and taking one or two points off this run. She's now gone behind the bracken which he didn't want but it was the best he could do in this situation. There she is. Want to turn them now, we don't want to see these sheep coming towards us. We want to see the sides of the sheep going across this cross drive in a straight line. He wants to be tucked just behind the fetch gates. He knows he's uh, on the correct line there. Because he's got a lead sheep that doesn't want to stop with the others, he's really having to work to tuck them in. Good line. She's so responsive to every whistle. Starting to rain now. Won't affect either of them. They'll be oblivious to the water. Nice, nice quiet line here because it can all go wrong. Cross drive gates will be coming across. There they are. Beautiful line. Just tried to miss it that side. She, she got it. Push them through. Tight turn. Keep away from that uh, fence line, but don't push the sheep back through the gates. One's just challenging. No, nope. keys beaten. Her. Back up, get her off, get him off that fence, Kevin. Well done. Back on the line. Odd point going there. Quietly down. Done. Bring them back through the gate again, up to the handler and into the shedding ring. Stand. The st stand. He calls stand, but he's not expecting her to stop and stand there. It's just a, a pull-up, slow-down key. We stand. We stand. Very nicely brought back. You stand. can see the shedding ring here. It's marked out with the white stand. cans. Needs to shed within this uh, shedding ring. He wants to split four from four. Stand. Take four Stand. away and pen the other four. Just stopping that lead sheep. He probably doesn't want her and his group to pen. Stand. She could cause him problems there. So do it quietly. Doesn't want to disrupt them when the dog comes through. Keep them quiet so he can pen them. He's a master at this. Uh, stand. You want your dog to lay quiet. When it gets stand. a command to flank, it wants to go square. We stand. 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 I think he's just trying to work out Stand. which of the four quarter sheep to pen. Cut. Cut. Stand. Cut. Come by. Stand. Stand. We. Stand. Stand. He wants rid of that one on the left. Come. Come. Stand. Stand. We. Ah. Uh. Stand. Stand. He's uh, tucking them stand, back in because stand, he's got to take uh, four from by. four. Not a stand. two and a two or a three and a one. Stand. It's got to be a straight come cut by. for from four. Stand. Stand. Come by. Come by. Stand. 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 
Got to be careful of those two behind him. We stand, stand. He'll understand the time's ticking away. Come by, come by, stand. Most other two don't want to stand with them. Stand. Not easy. Stand. Stand. Come by, stand. <coughs> we stand. We stand. Ah, uh, stand. C stand. Stand. He. 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 Yep, stand. 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 Took his time. Yes, yes, yes. Getting rid of one of the awkward sheep. I, I think he still may have another in this group. Stand. Driving them away. Out into the other field. He no longer wants those. These are the four he's interested in to pen to finish his trial. Stand. Stand. Uh, stand. We Got to be careful stand. they don't try and bolt down the field stand. to the other four. Stand. Get up. Get up. Stand. Cut. Stand. Cut. Stand. We stand. Really classy beach key. Stand. Stand. Ah. Uh, stand. We stand. We we stand. Cut. Stand. Come by. Yes. Yes. Come by. Stand. We we stand. 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 Come by. Come by. Stand. Could be conflict here, but come by, come by, stand. We Kevin's stand. such a masterful stand. handler. Stand, stand, stand. We, we, yes, yes. Come by, come by, come by, stand. Get up. We, going to come up. Yes, yes. Stand. Come by. These stand. girls are trying. Keys patience. Stand. We, we stand up. Yeah, we, we stand. 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 Cut. Stand. Come by. Great stand. Handling. We. We stand. You just want the one to look into that gap to see. We stand. And then they'll all follow. Come by, come by. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Stand. We, we stand. They just don't stand. want to give in. Stand. Come by, come, stand. Kevin can't go too stand. far around now, so I'll bolt down we his side. Stand. We stand. Yes. Come They're by, just stand. They're just testing her. We, are well we done, key. Yes, yes. Stand. Doesn't want to lay a tooth on her. Come by, come by, stand. Stand. Come by, stand. Ooh. Stand, stand. Unfortunate stand. there. Ah. That could be a disqualification. Ah. I don't by. know. Some judges stand. will leave it. Ah. Come by, stand. Get up. We come we'll by. See what Sue and stand. Andy do. We stand. We stand. If it was work, there was stand. not much else you we could do. Stand. But this we is a trial. Stand. So stand. it's down to the judges here. Kevin's still working away. He's not heard a call. Stand. Stand. Well done, the pair of you. Stand, 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 come by, stand. That's come it, and the pendant. Stand, 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 stand. Well, unfortunately, the judges have decided to disqualify him. Stand. Oh, what a shame. That will be a great disappointment for Kevin, bringing an end to his chance of making the final. Such a good run up to the pen, but that's trialling. Next to run is Dr. Angie Driscoll with her dog Kinlock Massey, the son of Serge van der Sweep's Gary. Nice line through. No whistle, she's done really well. Bit tight. Oh, they took one off the outrun. Because she was tight. Taking three points off the lift. Come by. Come by. Wasn't responded to the whistle, so she uh, asked it to come on the left with the come by, with the voice command. Trotting on nicely. Through the first gates. And she now moving back into position which they're allowed to do. 
and as he's bringing them down to this tight corner, this dark corner. Fresh sheep for everybody so uh, the sheep don't know where they're going. Little right hand flank, push them uphill, well done. And the turn back whistle. Nicely done, not going wide. But now she's turned Mazzy out around the back of the bracken. I don't know if he needed that one, but uh, Angie will know a dog better than me. That's nice seeing him in view there. Judges won't be able to see where he went. Mazzy gone up to the holding pen, so he's going to have to be brought back to the sheep. Here he comes. Four points gone because he went past the sheep and that turnout whistle. Clean lift. Just a reminder from Angie, little growl there, do as you're told. Trying to jockey them through the centre of these fetch gates. Just trotting on a bit. Quick flank to keep him straight. This front sheep's leading them. Big sheep. Daddy. Oop. Something, something made them stop. Put the pressure on now. To bring the four to join the other four. Nicely done. Ooh, steady, steady. Nice walking pace. Only three points off the fetch there. Nice tight turn. Slight bend there. Just to go in a straight line. Back down. Down the hill into the main field. Stand. Keep them moving. Bit of right flank so they don't pop into that field. They'll be out of sight of the judges here just for a minute in the dip. All eight sheep to go through. Mazzy's gone. Oh, looks like he's left four and gone with four. And you've seen this. Points going there. There's the four he's left. Uh, big chunk there, unfortunately. And she's got to get back up there, get the four back down to this bottom four and start the drive. This is sheepdog trialling for you. Great leveller. Not what she would have wanted. Now she'll start the drive. Got them bunched together and now she's driving. This is the correct way to drive. It's what we all look for to get tucked in behind them. Now she's having to go like Kevin did up on that hill to balance them. Trying to position him so she can get a tight turn. Now she's going. Well done. Gaining points there. Gonna have a nice cross drive. Mazzy quietly chocking these around. Want them to walk now. That's better. Took him in behind. behind those fetch gates to be on the correct line. Keep them moving. Walking nice. 
nicely. Tricky obstacle this one, tight in the corner. Lovely, lovely. Going for another tight turn. This is good. That's a nice distance. Steady. Lovely Steady. way with sheep, they don't fear him. Nice straight line down here. Bit of pressure on through the gate. Not too much. Trot them back up into the shedding ring. Yep. Loads of points gone there. Obviously for the split sheep in the bottom. Two, ten. For the four from four to be Get split up. here. Three, Unfortunately it happened on the drive, but that was just unfortunate. Three, stand. Stand, we. Stand. Find you a lovely way with we. sheep at hand. Stand. We. We. Stand. Get up, Mavis. Stand. Just watching the sheep. Mazzy ready. Waiting for Angie's command. Come by, come by. Stand. Get up. Keeping his distance. Now he's asked up, to Mavis. come up, a bit Mavis. closer. Up, Mazzy. 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 Pressure from the dog will make them part. That's what she's trying. Come by. Come by. Stand. Get up, Mazzy. We. Dear. Stand. Get up, Mazzy. Get up, Mazzy. Get up, Mazzy. We. We. Stand. Get up, Mazzy. Mazzy. Stand. 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 Right in the centre of the shedding ring here. Come by. Come by. Stand. That sawdust marker is up, where Mazzy. the handler stands, up, moves to. It's nothing up, to do with Get the up, edge of the shedding Get ring. Mazzy. 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 Come by. Come by. Stand. Mazzy. Mazzy. Come by. Stand. We. We. Stand. Up, Mazzy. Come on. Get up, Mazzy. Good boy. Get up, Mazzy. Get up, Mazzy. Good boy. Good boy. Stand. Mazzy Stand. coming up when she asks, but he doesn't come fast, so he upsets Stand. the sheep. He knows what's going on here. Stand. Peeling three. Stand. Stand. And the four. Lovely. Stand. Get up. Come by. There. Get up, Mazzy. Stand. 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 And you're just moving these four Stand. away, the ones she wants. Come by, they're loose, they're loose, they're loose. Come by, come by. Stand. Oof. Great bit of dog work there. Stand, come by, come by. Stand. The original shed Wee. was scored Wee. as Wee. it should have been. Stand. That little bit there. It's nothing to do with the shed, it's just getting these four Wee. away. They're loose, they're loose, they're loose, they're loose. Way, way, they're loose, they're loose. Way, stand. Come by. Stand. Get up, get up, get up, get up. And she's decided get to up. keep Wee. these sheep Wee. that she's shed. Stand. They're loose, they're loose, we. There. And she's going to take the other four away. Out of the way. Ready to start the pen. So she'll push those down the hill. Not pen them, just push them away. Well done, Mazzy. back to gaining 10 points from the pen with these sheep or 10 points to George it'll be here uh, 20 in total trying to keep them quiet as you bring them around man one side dog the other gentling them through the shedding ring back to the pen stand come by come by stand we we stand up, Mazzy. Come by there. Up, Mazzy. We there. Up, come by there. Up, Mazzy. Up, Mazzy. Come by there. Come by there. Come by there. The light there. sheep, these cleans, cleans. However, you want to say. Come by, come by. Stand. And come uh, by. Stand. Come by, come by, come by. Come by. Ooh, now, I don't like that. I don't like to see a dog go around the back of the pen. 
for me, I would take half points straight away. That's what's called cutting the throats, but not in the rule book. It's how the old school used to do it. Uh, it's up to these two judges, not me. But I'd prefer the doctor stayed on his side. Stand. Stand. Come by. Stand. Stand. And a pen. Yep, only two apiece from these two judges, but that's fair enough. Well done, Angie. Another great run by Angie and Mazzy, although I expect Angie will be disappointed with the first part of the drive, where she unfortunately lost the majority of points, 25 out of her total score of 43 points dropped. And the third run is uh, Neil Gillen from Ayrshire with his dog Sweep. He puts uh, an H in all his dog's names. Off he goes on that uh, first leg. A stop and a flank to put him round the corner behind the bungalow. Set the sheep. Feeling his sheep. Mm, very nice lift. A really good start here for Sweep and Neil. Little flank whistle there to put them back on line. Gently down. <whistles> Fighting with them a bit. St strong dog sweep. Neil moving across <coughs> to the sawdust. I did to stand in position. Sweep is all dog. How you doing? Bringing them down into this blind corner. Looks open to us, but the sheep will just see metalwork. They won't see an opening. Bit of conflict there. All turned around with the back sides to the gate. Neil just reminding him. No. Hey. Sweep won't give uh, a backward step. Sheep peering over the top. This will be a difficult one for the judges. Hey. Well, the sheep went for the dog, so the dog retaliated. Um, in my mind, that was fair game. But it's up to the judges, not me. Oh, turn back into the wrong field. Now turn back again. Two flank whistles. He's not going out wide. Oh, Shepherd's stepped out of the way and the sheep are coming to meet Sweet. Overflanked a bit. And then come back. Obviously, five points dropped because of that. Trotting on slightly offline, so he's got to go here to. A few points taken off the lift as well. Shriek's recovered well. Ooh, that one's going to fight him. Lots of whistles from Neil here. Looking in behind them. Nice line. Back to regroup. I don't.
Neil's not angry with Sweep, that's how he normally says lie down. Hi then. Yeah, come by. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right in. Yeah, nice fetch there. Come. Nice turn round. Judges are in, in. The, in the vehicle, as we can see on the screen there. Right so in. you can see the ankle there watching. Hey. <coughs> come. Come. Right in. Right in. Hey. Hey. Lovely hey. Scottish brag there. I do. Dune. Lie Dune. I did. Super little dog. Always get your work done with a dog like this. Just popped up hill. Hey! Bit of a tight one in there by Sweep, so he gets a reminder. Not done a lot wrong though. Odd point gone. I'm running. Sheep now they've got a dog behind him here, so I'm chopping on. I should give them a tighter turn if you can keep with them. Start going up the hill again. Not losing many points because he's not out of that gap totally. Gentling them through and then Sweep will be given the flank. They were like a bullet. Woof! Through the gates. And he's ended up with a decent turn. A point there, they've turned towards us and then he'll start his cross drive. Keeps lifting his head, listening to Neil. Wind's blowing slightly, keeping the rain away. Nice pace. Hey! Just a reminder inside flank to push him through. off the fence. Keep on those tire tracks for a straight return. They're looking to climb. Change the lines. Nice pace. I'm going to shed these sheep in a minute so you don't want to upset them. stop if we can help it. It's nice to see everything moving. Wait on! How you doing? So, nicely into the centre of the ring. Ten points drop there. Mainly for line. <coughs> How you doing? How you doing? Neil dropped the volume now, a lot quieter when he's working at hand. How you doing? A little keep command there so you don't tighten up, sweep. Yeah. I down. I down. <coughs> I down. We, uh, I down. Ah, there, which just means don't you come I, and tighten I up. I down. I 
Neil's stalking them now. How you doing? Just reminding Sweep to keep most of Sweep's commands are lie down because he's coming all the time. Sheep have accepted the dog, but they know he's there. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How are you? How you doing? First on Plattaloo to bring him in. How you doing? See ya. How you doing? See ya. See ya. How you doing? How you doing? This is the correct way. Shed the sheep that you How want. See ya. Down here. See ya. Come back. See ya. How you doing? See ya. See ya. Let's see ya. get rid of these four. See ya. How you doing? Back down the hill. How you doing? How you doing? See ya. How you doing? I would advise your girls to do as you're told with sheep there. See ya. Trying to regroup, but uh, come, come. How you doing? See you. How you doing? advise see them not to. Watch these four behind you, Neil. How you doing? How do you? He's just glanced them and has seen them moving. Down here. See you. See you. I down, I down, see ya. <coughs> Keeping the quiet. Keep I to the sides. I down. Little bleat in there from one group to the other. See ya. They can still see them. I down, come. Oh, she's trying. See ya. I down, I down, come I. I down, I down. Excellent, yeah, excellent yeah. pen. How you doing? How you doing? Nothing off that pen. Well How done to Sweep and Neil. This was another nail-biting run from Neil, resulting in an impressive score of just 34 points lost. Sweep really had to stand his ground against one or two very challenging sheep and gave our judges, Andy and Sue, plenty to discuss. So Kevin, you were first up in the semi-finals today. How did you find it? Yeah, it's a lovely, tricky course. The sheep are working well, but a test, and had uh, a few difficulties and didn't all go quite to plan, but quite happy. Well, well done today. Angie, you were next. Yes. How did you feel it went? Yeah, it was, it was tricky, but this is what we do our training for and all year round. Um, a little bit of a blind spot there where I couldn't see where the sheep were, okay. and um, we made a little bit of a mistake. Well, a big mistake, but... Um, that's how it goes. Well, we'll see what the judges think. Mm -hmm. uh, and Neil, you were next. Um, you're a Scottish national champion. How does Sweep find this course compared to Scotland? Well, it's, it's tricky. It's small, but it's really difficult. Mm. So it tests all aspects of the dog. Yeah. I would say it's a very tough testing course, although it's not big. Yeah. OK, so a, a challenging start to the semi-finals. We'll go and see how the other three get on. OK, thank Let's you. Go. So Mike, it's the semi-finals and we have a much more challenging course. How do you feel the first three handlers got on? This is one of the trickiest pieces of trialling and handling I've ever seen and the judges have really had to have their pencils sharp. <laughs> first guy went out, Kevin Evans, supreme champion, reigning. Beautiful first outrun, but had tricky times in this corner down here, and the sheep just couldn't see that entrance, and he worked that dog left and right without gripping, but you could see that sheep was going to challenge him. Got around the course, turned her back, picked the sheep up, lovely driving, got his eight sheep back into this shedding ring, and he had one, as I would call her, a pig of a sheep. And he was so clever, he decided that was sheep was going to go out that gate, not be part of the penning process, so we had a bit of trouble in the shedding ring to get her apart, Dan. Let the four go. She went and he kept four here. They were glancing across Dan. all the time at the sheep and I thought they're going to have Dan. trouble penning. And he did. And they didn't want to go in. And Key did the one fatal error of gripping. Now, 
you've got to leave it to those two people in the box. You are the disqualifier or you take into account how bad those sheep were. And uh, so whatever's happened, it's down to them. Yeah. So I didn't want to make that decision. Mm -hmm. Second dog, um, Angie, she yeah. works superbly. Took that dog around the course, did really well, but made one major mistake when she drove the eight sheep back out the field to start the driving, four stopped by the horse, and the dog just bypassed them and off it went. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that on a trial field before in my life. Wow. Carried on running, brought the dog back, but big chunks to go. When she got into the shedding ring, she tried to put the four in the corner here, behind the cameras, bring the other four here. They nearly joined together. I've never seen a dog come through a gap that short on its own, really ignored her, knew what it had to do, bang, took the four and put them in the pen. Then we had Neil Gillen, Scottish champion with a wonderful little sweep from the, the hills up in Ayrshire. Superb outrun at the top, brought them down, but the sheep again couldn't see that gap and they turned on the dog. He made the fatal mistake of, bang, he came into grip, down to the judges again. Personally, it's a line through me, bye bye. But because of the sheep, because of the gap, it's a thing we don't see normally, the judges might allow it, but take points off. Then he went round the course, superb driving yet again, sweet work well, got into the shedding ring. When he shed, he put the four down in the bottom corner and he kept glancing, they didn't go out the field. Well, this could be muck or nettles. We're all watching there, we had hearts in her. And then, and Sweep came round and all of a sudden, one went to the gate, he called Sweep in, he came in, bang, they went in, saved the day, crowd clapped. So it's down to the judges how they saw it on the day, but for me, superb trialling. Yeah, like you say, very exciting and a really interesting start to the semi-finals. Yes, I don't know how much more I can take of this. We're going to go and see how the next three get on. We will, yes. Thanks. Thanks. Looking at the scoreboard, obviously it was a bad day for Kevin, with Priscelli Key being disqualified at the pen. Angie and Neil have extremely good scores, but will they have done enough to earn themselves one of only three places in the final? So our first three handlers put on a fantastic display of handling, but we've still got three more semi-finalists to be put to the test. And after that, we'll know who our finalists are. If you want more information about the handlers and their dogs, or to see any of the qualifying rounds, Click the link at the end of this video and we'll see you soon.